What's going on my friends? Chris here. I want to bring you all an update today of Bitcoin. We're also going to get into some altcoins as well. What I want to do is look at Bitcoin on the one day time frame here, guys, and just kind of talk to you a little bit about what's going on in the market right now. So if you get some from this, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Let me know what you got going on this weekend. I always love to hear it. Hopefully we're going to be doing some flea markets, things like that. So always fun and would just love to hear what you guys have going on as well. So first of all, guys, when we're taking a look at Bitcoin here on the one day time frame, we're sitting at 29,637. What we have to realize, I'm huge on trends, as you all know, we are still in this downtrend here. So while we are in this downtrend, while we're trading below our 30, our 50 and our 200 moving averages, I'm not going to be taking any long positions. Now in Bitcoin, I don't short Bitcoin. I'll go short in the stock market play and put options but in terms of bitcoin i don't short it so for me right now in the crypto space i'm still continuously sitting back waiting for a good buying opportunity and for me one of those good buying opportunities would be if we had a strong breakout from this trend line on heavy volume or the fact that we'd be trading up above this 200 moving average i don't want to put on longs when we're below our 200 day moving average typically it doesn't work out too well and guys you can just go back and look at history but even from here if we would have just gotten out at the 200 moving average all the way down to where we went that's 46 percent to the downside to where we're at now it's about 37 percent so whenever you see us cross up above the 200 moving average on volume a lot of times that can be a buy signal whenever you see us drop below that can be a sell signal and i've been out of the market now so i'm just patiently waiting to see us get out of this downtrend start trading up above you know our 50 moving average or 200 moving average because what you can see here guys if we look back to our bull run here almost this entire bull run we were up above this 50 moving average as well as this 200 moving average and we even gapped away we were so strong so now it's the opposite you can see we're in this downtrend now and when we're in these downtrends you have to be careful if you're going long and you're trying to play this for a reaction back up to maybe 35,000, just realize that most likely we could still have another leg to the downside because the trend has been down so if you're buying now you're going against the trend you're going against this tide here or this river which has been down. So you always want to trade with the trend or stay out of the market. Now, if you're longer term investing, that's something completely different. But in terms of swing trading right now, guys, I don't want to put anything on. And I'm just being honest with you. That's where I'm at right now in the crypto space. So in terms of pivots or pivot point, we had our low, which was 25,335. High of the bounce was 31,415. We did set a higher low at 28,000. So that's what needs to hold right here. If you can see that, we tried to push up for a higher high, but we didn't get much follow through. We just kind of rolled back over. So we have to be careful of these things, guys, when we're taking out long positions, because one of the most important things you can do is protect your capital when you're in one of these downtrends. You don't want to give back all your profits from the prior year. Okay, so just realize we're below our 30, we're below our 50, and we're below our 200. We need to hold 28,000 as support. If we drop below that, we're probably going to revisit 25,000. In terms of overhead resistance, we have to get up above about $32,500 is going to be the area. Then that could lead to a little bit higher run, but... You know, guys, it's a tough spot right now. Relative strengths of 43, so we're below 50. Our money flows in the red. VWAP's negative 3.63. So I'm not seeing anything right now that says I have to jump into a position. Now, if we take a look at Ethereum, and if you're here for ETH, let me know down low. Just put ETH. So, guys, we're really weak here. If we cannot hold these areas of about $1,700, I'm going to look down to $1,200. It's going to be my main target area for Ethereum. Maybe that's where we could get a bounce, get a little bit extended, but it's still just a tough area. I mean, you can see the downtrend. We're below our 30, our 50, our 200. We just don't have a lot going for the bulls right now, and I don't want to fight the trend. Okay, so in terms of support, $1,700 we need to hold. Uh, in terms of overhead resistance, we got to get over $2,000 and turn that into support. So it's going to be Ethereum. Next one, we're going to take a look at ADA. ADA has been in this falling wedge for a long time now. Same deal, trading below our 30, our 50, and our 200. Our 200 moving average is going to be at 107 right now. Our 50 is going to be at 68 cents. So these are major overhead resistance areas we have to watch. In terms of support, we pushed down to 38 cents. We had our high of the bounce, which took us up to about 61 and then we set a higher low here at 44 cents. So we need to hold 44 cents is going to be the area for this higher low to continue to hold because that's what we want to see, guys. We got to dig our way out of here. We had the 38 cents. We had the 44 cents. If we pull back, we maybe hold 50 cents. And we just want to keep these higher lows going. But right now, we still have a lot of downward pressure on us for ADA, ADA as well. So please be careful out there, guys. Next one we're going to take a look at is Litecoin. 
And if you want me to keep covering Litecoin, guys, I don't know how many people want me to cover this out there. I know we have some Litecoin fans, so just please put LTC down low just so I know. So right now, guys, same deal, trading below our 30, our 50, our 200. In terms of our higher lows, we had $52, then we had $60.40. So we need to hold $60.40 for our higher low. Right now, we are testing that. So if we break down through, we're going to look to around that $50 to the downside, and then it'd be about $40. But those are going to be the main areas, guys, that 60, and then we're going to look up to around that 70. And right now, I wish I could do more updates and more things for you guys, but right now, we've just been in a wicked downtrend. I mean, you can see what's taking place for Litecoin here. Guys, we are down from the high there, 77%. So when something's down that much, to me, I want to see the trend reverse. I don't care if it's a higher price. I want to trade with the trend is the main thing that I'm looking for. If we continue to go down through here, guys, let's see if there's any other ones I want to point out for you. Um, we'll take a look at Soul. Soul's at $37. Guys, this had a high of $260, and this shows the power of trends. If you have not watched my trend video, please watch that because it can save you so much money, guys. And the main thing you have to realize is that when we're trading below that 50 and that 200 moving average, the bulls have a ton of work to do. Okay, We have to get up through all these areas, and these are where bag holders are. So each time we have a pump, there's people who are caught up here. They're going to sell. Say we go higher, more people, more people, and that's the trouble. And that's why new coins typically pump a little bit more because you don't have all those bag holders overhead. So we need to hold $36 for support. In terms of overhead resistance, we're going to look at about $48 to $50. Then be these moving averages here, which would be about $0.70. Cents then all the way up to that 118. But we have a ton of work to do, guys, and this is the power of trends both to the upside and the downside. Prices can always go higher than you think, and they can always go lower than you think. So please be careful out there. Have a wonderful weekend. Take care, my friends.